today is Tuesday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are. The weather here once again in Atlanta is just beautiful. Hope the weather is amazing wherever you are. Summer is quickly, quickly, quickly approaching. So I wanted to stop in here very briefly today, very briefly today and share with you my summer picks. Things that I feel, I think they'll really enhance your summer this summer. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into today's video. All right, and so speaking of summer, do drop down, leave a comment, let me know where you guys are headed for summer vacation. Shout out to everyone who in the last video gave me your summer vacation plans. Shout out to everyone in the last video who left your tips for a summer vacation. Where are you guys going? We are doing something this summer we've never done before. And so a few of these items I will be using on whatever that said item is. I will let you guys know as the date gets a little bit closer. But I've never done this before. Never been to this, whatever this, never done this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hoping to bring some of these items along. The first item, however, I purchased on the last place that we went to that we had previously had never been to before. <laughs> it was Mexico, guys. I purchased this fedora in Mexico. This was on our last trip there, but prior to that, we'd been twice before. But for years, going to Mexico, I guess I want to say, had never really been on my family's radar. And as it stands currently, we can't get enough of it. Playa del Carmen, I guess uh, more specifically, is where we have just simply, simply just decided that it's going to be our place. It's going to be our place. It's going to be the trip that we must do every year. So we went, when were we there? Just a few months ago. And then I think once before we'd gone to Christmas and then another time we'd gone for May. But for my upcoming next trip for something I've never done before, I will absolutely be bringing my fedora. I paid I paid $5 or was it $13? Either $13 or $5, one of them. Either way, a great price point for this lovely, lovely fedora. All right, and so if it is summer, if we are traveling, we need a swimsuit, right? Even if you go, let's say, a place where you don't traditionally wear a swimsuit, I don't know, maybe some of these places over in Europe, your hotel will possibly have a swimming pool. And I remember one July, we went to Paris. And oh my gosh, it was just sweltering hot. It was our first time going and we were just so grateful that once we returned from um, being out during all the things that tourists do that we could hop into the pool. So despite where you're going, you're probably more likely than not going to require a swimsuit. And so that is the next item <laughs> that I want to share with you here, guys. This swimsuit I purchased from Amazon. And I want to say this is my favorite, favorite, favorite swimsuit that I've purchased from Amazon. And guys, when I tell you I have a few, quite a few swimsuits that I have purchased for the summer from Amazon, but this one is my absolute favorite. I love this one, let me tell you why. Because it is a one piece with the benefits of a two piece, all right? So you get the coverage on those days where you don't really want to be super uncovered as in the mid region. Um, so you, you get the coverage, but then you get the little cutout. So it looks like, you know, you still, you can still be out here thrusting and thriving and giving everything your body needs for it to give. If it were in a two piece, but <laughs> giving you a lot of the coverage that a one piece offers up. And I love the color blocking color. Amazon has so many 
variations of this swimsuit on uh, on the on the website. There's a purple and pink paired together. There's a black and white. There's like a brown and mauve. And so you have a really really large selection a large selection to uh, to choose from. The summer means swimsuit season. <sighs> I mentioned a few videos back that even though I have not been doing exactly what I need to do in terms of keeping my body all together because I've been busy. I've been busy. I've been busy. Life happens. And the, although I may start the year, start the month, start the week off saying I'm going to work out this many times a week, things happen. And so we fall off the wagon. I am not going to then punish myself and not put on a swimsuit because I feel that the next individual out here is judging me judge away judge away you don't know me you don't know me so i am not going to deprive myself of sitting by someone's pool or frolicking on someone's beach in a swimsuit because you know i didn't get all my workouts in so just wanted to put that out there don't guys be afraid of wearing your swimsuits and you don't have to wear a swimsuit like this where there is you know, a bit of a cutout. You can absolutely just wear an entire one piece, all right? And you can wear your cover up and keep that on. And so speaking of cover ups, my next fave, fave must have that I feel you absolutely must have for the summer is a white button down. I spoke about white in my previous video. White not only looks great when you're, you know, tipping in and out of someone's restaurant or someone's boutique, white also looks great on the beach as a swimsuit cover up. And that is how I plan to wear this one. This one is actually new. You probably can still see the folds and everything in it from where I took it out of the package. It is an extra large and I purchased it from Amazon from the men's department do you say men's department over on amazon i put in men's white button down that's where i purchased it from and i wanted it to be super oversized so that it would on those days where let's say i am going to be in the pool but then i want to go from the pool to let's say a restaurant or a little shop i can have the white button down on it is quite big enough almost looks like a dress and some cute sandals on and then I have a look. This can also double as the top for let's say a pair of cut off shorts or a pair of breezy linen pants. Now you already have the top that was also doubling as your swimsuit cover up. So straw hat, some type of fedora summer hat, your swimsuit and a white button down shirt, preferably oversized. And Amazon absolutely has you covered in the white button down and swimsuit department. All right, now we are also going to need a cute little sandal, a cute little sandal if we are out and about traveling this summer. So you guys know, I like Gucci a little bit. I like Gucci a little bit. So I had to tip in and see if they had any sandals or anything like that for me for this upcoming trip. If you live here in Atlanta, have you guys been to the little, the new little Gucci boutique? So, you know, we have the big Gucci store, but then now we, uh, most, uh, most recently here, we've opened up a not we like i have nothing to do with gucci opening up gucci has taken it upon themselves to open up a small gucci boutique here um so let me know if you guys have had an opportunity to check that out so tim tian picked these guys up and i felt that they would be great to enhance my looks as i travel out and about this summer so let's take a gander they are obviously shoes let me grab the other one here guys i have big feet i have big feet i have not kept that from you guys here on the channel i am not ashamed of it you know everybody can't have the size six shoe the size 
eight. Somebody has to wear the 11s and the 12s, and that is me, she, her. So these I felt would be great, not only for pool wear, not only for beach wear, but like I said, I have on my swimsuit, I'm leaving the pool, I'm leaving beachside, but I'm not quite ready to head back in. I throw on my white button down and I have these on and it is absolutely a look. Now, let me just say this. Yes, I know Gucci is not like going to Target, okay? You can find similar shoes like this at Target. However, these right here for the shoe, for the brand that they are, it's a really good price point. Let me just say that. They are a really great price point. I will have all of the specifics, links, and everything like that down in the description box. But I love that they are not a fabric type of material. So I can absolutely head to the beach and pool with these on and not worry about you know, destroying them, but they are a really great price point. I think they will look great with a lot of my purses. I have a particular purse that these are going to look amazing with. So I mentioned that I picked these up in the men's department. This bag right here is the bag that I had in mind when I saw these, or these. this is the bag that came to mind when I saw these in store in the little boutique and I felt this would be great to take with me this summer for our travels. It's a crossbody, but it is also from the men's department. I find that the men's department just has those really cute little hidden gems that we're not gonna see everyone wearing. Of course, all of us women, we're gonna gravitate, gravitate towards or over to the women's department. It's the women's department, of course, we're going to shop over there. However, if we want to do something just a little bit different, if we don't want to look like everyone else around town, I find shopping in the men's department is a great option. So this is from the men's department and these little slides are from the men's department in Gucci as well. And I think they are going to look great together. Now, if you are like, girl, are you out of your freaking mind? I am not spending Gucci money. I have some other options for you. Um, these Tory Burch Cloud Millers are a great alternative, alternative, I feel, to these um, cute little Gucci slides, you know? And they're still going to give you somewhat of a luxe look and they are super, super comfortable. If I'm honest, the Tory Burch clouds are a lot more comfortable than these Gucci slides. They absolutely are. Now, if you don't want to spend the Tory Burch money this summer on your little summer slides and summer shoes, it, while I step out of frame here just for a second, these, will be going with me on vacation as well. These were, I believe, $24, $25, $27, somewhere in that neighborhood from The Thine Amazon. And when I tell you, let's just say they were $27, okay? I can't remember if they were between 24, 24, 25, 27, something like that. But let's just say, let's just say we go all the way to the top and these were $27. These were not $27. These absolutely were not $27. These are the most comfortable. These are the most comfortable. When these arrived a few days ago, I had Eric try these on because I just had to share the feeling, the foot feeling with someone else. I couldn't contain myself. Eric and Chase say, whenever I get some food and it's really good, I'm always trying to force them to taste it. And now he's saying, now I gotta, you know, try your shoes on, stop. But he agreed. These are some super, super, super comfortable slides. And I love that there are some little holes down here in the bottom. I feel that they would make great shower shoes as well. Drop down, leave a comment, let me know if you wear shoes in the shower when you travel. I do. I don't play these games. I don't play these germ games. If you are new to the channel, 
hello and thank you from the bottom of my, of my heart for coming over and joining the family. I am a germaphobe in counseling. I'm, I'm seeking counseling right now within myself to help me with my germaphobe issues. But I am a germaphobe. Not as bad as I once was. I've gotten inside of my mind and I've, you know, reconciled with the fact that, hey ma'am, hey, there are gonna be germs out there and you just, you just, you gotta ring it in and just get control of yourself. And so I have, I have gotten a lot better. However, I do wear shower shoes. There's certain things I'm just not gonna let go of. I still bring my own sheets and bring my own pillows. Drop down, leave a comment, let me know. If you take certain things with you on vacation and they are non-negotiable, I have a suitcase filled with items that are just for my comfort. Eric knows we gonna pay for one of the bags because I got everything with the kitchen sink in there. That's just me, but drop down. Let me know if you are a part of that community. But so these were around $27 on Amazon and I, I, I kid you not, these are the most comfortable of the three. All right, however, I feel that we owe it to ourselves as ladies to get those things, get those things that may uh, appear or some would presume to be a little bit more expensive and purchase them if that is what we want. Now, I do understand that the Tory Burch Miller Clouds are a bit expensive and I know that I'm not quite sure of the actual names of these Gucci slides. Let's take a look here on the box. They are the Beige Ebony New Acers. I know that these are a little bit expensive. However, I do feel as women, we work a lot um, in, in terms of trying to make sure our family has everything that they need. We try to make sure that everyone else is, you know, well. If we want to splurge on ourselves, don't feel guilty in doing it. Don't let anyone make you feel guilty in doing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's my philosophy, but yeah, you need use some slides. You don't necessarily need the Gucci slides, but if you want the Gucci slides, buy the Gucci slides with these right here. Amazing. All right, before we move on to my next summer must have, guys, don't, and I think, we as black women do this a lot, all right? Please don't allow people, your girlfriends, those around you to make you feel that you're doing something bad and sinister and evil because you spend a couple of hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. But it's good when everybody else do it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. We work hard as women. We take care of everyone, sometimes to a fault, as women, we make ourselves sick taking care of other people as women. We put ourselves on the back burner a lot of times as women. If you want to spend a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand dollars on shoes, a purse, lipstick, whatever, and you know you're good, you know that you can afford, now I'm not saying go out here and take out loans to get a pair of shoes. If you know you're good, you know you're doing what you're supposed to do in terms of adulting, you're paying your bills, there's nothing wrong with allowing yourselves a bit of luxury. If it's good for her, it's good for you. The next summer item that I must, must, must have, I feel that you need also this summer, a pair of shorts. Now. My favorite pair of shorts, I love a good pair of denim shorts. I love a good pair of cut off denim shorts. There's just something just very, <laughs> almost primal and at the same time, very basic about a pair of cut off denim shorts. You can do so much with these and then I feel too that they are the sexiest type of shorts. Yes, we have our linen shorts and you know, Zara it just does a beautiful job with their coordinates in terms of their short sets and things like that. But the denim shorts, oh, they're just, they're just so amazing. And you guys see my closet back here? 
I wear every last one of my t-shirts from the Unfrompy Mommy store. And so as I hold up these shorts right here, guys, it's just a look. I can grab any t-shirt back there and these shirt, these shorts with, let's say, my Tory Burch Millers. And it is, it's just absolutely a great summer look. And then one of my bags back here, you just can't go wrong with a pair of denim shorts. You guys will have to drop down. Let me know the length of short that you like for the summer. During the summer when we are traveling, I will go about as short as, you know, my body type will allow. You guys will have to drop down, leave a comment, let me know the length that you guys prefer. Now, I know when we are out and about around town, the length may vary a little bit, but when you are on vacation, you don't know any of these people, <laughs> what length of short are you wearing? <laughs> All right, and finally, guys, is it summer without a pair of sunglasses? Is it summer without a pair of sunglasses? Let me hold these up because these are dark and it's dark down here. So here. <laughs> Is it summer without a pair of sunglasses? Guys, you need a pair of sunglasses. And when I am on vacation, depending on where I am, sometimes you need that pair of sunglasses that say, I don't want to be bothered, not today. Yeah, I know you're coming over to ask if I want to order anything else from the menu, but if these are on, I'm probably asleep up under here, <laughs> underneath these sunglasses. So we need a good pair of sunglasses. I had to find out the hard way that I don't necessarily want to take my most expensive sunglasses with me on vacation. What? A few videos back, I mentioned to you guys that we had gone to Ishkaret. I had just shared with you all my square Ray-Ban, I think they were the 1971s, 1970. I can't remember the exact name. I'll put a picture of them. But, oh my gosh, I had just got no sunglasses and I love them so much. We went to Ishkaret and I lost them on the darn zip line. And underneath the zip line, it wasn't just like grass or anything. It was a river. I dropped them in the river and I guess they floated. Someone found them and turned them in. I will not be taking any more of my super expensive sunglasses. And, and, and listen, I know Ray-Bans Ray aren't super expensive. However, these are from Amazon. These are not super expensive, <laughs> okay? The Ray-Bans, you know, they were more than $100. And so for me, for sunglasses, you know, that's expensive. Um, for some of you, it may, it may be just a drop in the bucket. For me, that's expensive. However, these right here were like $13 from Amazon. And so sunglasses like this, and my I, I have several pairs actually from Amazon that um, I will now be dusting off and taking those with me on vacation. Um, but you guys will have to let me know your school of thought on that. You know, I have friends who will say that, you know, they buy their nice pieces to take with them when they travel. Um, but maybe I'll take the sunglasses when I'm not zip lining. Maybe that was the problem. I had taken them off and I kind of tucked them in my swimsuit and somehow they became dislodged and ended up in the river. But thankfully, someone was kind enough to turn them in. So these are actually from Amazon as well they are actually the same glasses they just have the clear lens so i feel these are great for like long airplane flights you know you don't want to be sitting on the airplane with these on you know that might look kind of weird but these you know you can kind of hide the sleepy eyes with these because the frames are so so very thick and i think they're super stylish as well but as always i will have the links for them down below in the description box i do know that they come in other um, styles and colors as well well that is going to do it for today's video guys a really quick a really just really simple summary type video that i wanted to pop in and share with you guys i had a little bit of free time today 
Don't forget to drop down and let me know what you guys will be doing this summer. I am so ready to get out and travel. I do know one of the places we are going to be going this summer. I'll go ahead and share it. We're going back to Disney. We have not been in so, so freaking long. Now, I say we're going to Disney, but we will probably not be doing any Disney parks as it stands right now. We will probably be doing more universal type activities because as you guys know, you need to get into a Disney park these days and get in and be able to partake of the Disney parks as you would like. You probably need a pint of blood, gosh, like your first grandchild and I don't know, it's, it's, it's really bananas. Let me know if you are like my family and you love the theme parks, you love Disney, when is the last time you visited Disney? That would be Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Universe, uh, Hollywood Studios. When is the last time you've been there? It's been a really, really long time for us, especially when you consider the fact that we would be go we would go to Orlando and just Disney and Universal three and four times a year. No exaggeration at all. We were going three and four times a year. Now, Disney is just you can't get in there. Disney is everybody's favorite place to visit. It, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Universal is crowded as well. However, Universal has some things in place where it, they do make it a little bit easier for you to get into the parks and enjoy them on some level. Disney is just, you just, you just in there thugging it out. But anywho, let me know. I've actually got, you guys can see how, how, how um, eager I am to start traveling this summer. I think I've mentioned travel to you guys about 18 times in this video. I mean, I guess this is a summer video. And what do we do during the summer, right? We travel. So let me know what you guys are doing. All right. I have some orders that I need to get to. So if this video is a little bit shorter than typical, my apologies, but I got to get these orders out. The next video, I will absolutely have your shout outs. And again, just thank you, thank you, thank you so, so very much for the support over in the store. So please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And don't forget to like this video. And if you are so inclined, tell a friend to tell a friend about this little space over here on YouTube. All right, and so with that, guys, Hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed coming in and chatting with you all, if just for a few minutes today, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.